Good morning, everybody. Hope you're all well and having a great time after your walk up uh, up uh, the pike with a uh, beer in hand now, I hope, or at least an ice cream chilling in the glorious sunshine. You're too tired to move, so you're interested in watching one of my videos. Well, I won't disappoint. Today we have two leaflets to bring to you, and I'm quite excited to bring them. Before you do, don't panic. I haven't had my ears lowered. Uh, I've had my hair expertly cut yesterday by Darren's Barbers. Uh, it made me feel completely embarrassed as I went in and he said I was watching your videos um, and I was partic taking particular attention of your hair. So yeah, I needed it. Um, so talking about local businesses, uh, we recently got uh, commented on by um, Labour for Horwich and Blackrod, where one of their supporters said we were quirky in our hoodies and caps, which brings me to an opportunity to, to say that our hoodies and caps were uh, last year they were expertly sourced, printed, uh, our supporters have them, uh, by Halbro Sportswear in Horwich. So fantastic to support local businesses uh, where we can. Um, so thank you for, for pointing that out um, to us. So who are the leaflets that we're going to comment on today? Well, they're ours. I said I'd bring them to you. So without much further ado... Brew in hand. Can't beat a good cup of tea. Let's start with Sam's. So Sam Williamson. And if you've not got these, we have now completed our delivery. It took us eight days to cover all of Horwich and Blackrod. Um, if you've not received one and you'd like one, just, just drop a message in the comments and we'll get one to you. Uh, maybe your dog's eating it and they like the flavour of teal. Um, so let's have a look. Uh, you've met Sam before. She is a, a town councillor. Um, point out some criticism whilst we lost one lady member of our group recently. We do still have um, two councillors that are women in, in Horwich and Blackrod um, first. And we also have four or five extras who are part of our team who, who will be running in 2023. Um, so we have actually good, good representation um, across the board. Um, so Sam, yep, she she runs uh, a health, fitness, well-being um, in Horwich and Blackrod Ward uh, called Hands On Fitness. She's local. Uh, she's lived here for many many years. She's got her family, who are absolutely amazing at the dancing, uh, and it's just an all-round good family woman. Very strong-willed, very strong-minded, and has a particularly uh, in particularly good interest in uh, youth. And we when I before the pandemic, I started to set up the um, uh, the youth councils because I felt that there wasn't enough representation for the youth on the the town council. So we wanted to sell then the pandemic hit, and of course the um, schools shut down and, and, and etc. Well, Sam came on board after the passing of, of our call, former colleague Ken, um, and she, she's sort of looking to take the lead on that uh, when we get back up to speed and bring the kids back on board. Uh, and hopefully we'll have a council of, of, of youth councillors in Horwich as well to put, put to put the young perspective forward. So that's Sam. Have a good read. Really interesting read. And if, if you've got any questions for Sam, she's more than happy to take them. She does her own little uh, live streams as well, which are always a blast. So what, what do we have here? Well, we've got information about the clean air zone. We always think it's important to hold people to account. And that's that's our theme this year, accountability. Um, because in, in, in um, Bolton, it's slightly different to everywhere else. Um, it, we, we were Labour when the CAS was first rolled out. So Labour agreed to it, to take us into it. And we'll, Ryan will be doing a, a video on this uh, later uh, in the week. And then, of course, the Conservatives took us in, uh, signed up to it. Uh, of course, now it's turned into this political nightmare for the two major parties. They're all washing their hands up. Oh, no, we, we stopped. we're all against it. Let's pause it. Let's pause it. They've paused it. And they say they're lobbying for a complete removal of it. But the cameras are still there and they are live and they are recording data. Why? If it's going to be scrapped. One thing's for sure. Those cameras aren't coming back down. I, I, I whilst, Well, I can't be sure. But I doubt they'll come back down. They have cost tens of millions of pounds to put up. They ain't coming back down. One way or another, 
the government has passed the can on to local authorities to start charging as fuel duty gradually moves away when people move to electric vehicles so that the local councils take the early flag. At the bottom, we've got our Link Road proposal that we've had for a number of years. Uh, it missed out on the £50 million bid uh, this time, uh, even though in the Conservative leaflets they, they say Horwich, West Orton and Blackrod are included in this £50 million bid. Um, Blackrod are not included in this bid. We have been assured, which we, we said it's good news, that a future bid will include improvements to this slip road. Um, there we go. In the middle, all good. This is this is the stuff that we do. Very few parties, certainly no others in Horwich and Blackrod, um, get involved at this local level. Whether it's installing benches, poo bins, whatever, you will you will not see anybody else getting involved like we do in Horwich and Blackrod. Um, did you spot the deliberate mistake? There is a mistake. Um, we seem to have uh, lost number 30. Um, it is on the map and we can see it, and but there's no number. So yeah, we made a mistake um, and, and one or two people have pointed it out. Uh, this was a great map. We, we did an earlier leaflet um, that was, that was um, printed, which showed all the roads uh, that had been um, completed with 1.2 million. Um, Lots of things that we've done as well at Bolton Council. I like stopped the 50% reduction of station parks uh, as part of the mugger. Uh, as you know, that has just recently come forward. It's now being 100% size, which is fantastic. Um, but yeah, have a read through that of all the stuff we do. And, and as local councillors, that's what we do. We, we, we work on the fly. We do things as they are needed. And we are there to respond, such as raising money for the schools after the floods. Um... We, we campaign for various issues and, of course, ensuring that funding is increased locally. Um, a little bit on the back. Uh, can you trust councillors who place party politics first? And and it actually mentions um, a Labour councillor who left recently. Not from Morrison Blackrod. <clears throat> but basically, in order to make political capital, they sacrificed her o over their own politics. <clears throat> excuse me, and that's what it's about. It's always about that whip. You could be a really good councillor for Horwich and Black Rob, but if you're a member of a major party and they, their leadership want to go a specific way, you must go that way, even to the detriment of your own town. We've often heard local councillors, Labour, Conservatives say, we didn't really want to do that. Then why did you? We were told. Is that what you want for Horwich and Black Rob? People who just get told to do something. A um, bit of history was how it's treated fairly, uh, where money was diverted. Labour want to go back to targeted funding. Uh, we will always oppose that because there are other ways to, to, to um, eradicate deprivation and improve areas <clears throat> rather than just throwing money at the cost of the poor in your own areas. Uh, we've done magical things with, with the money since it's become um, available um, and we're looking forward to doing more. Um, the 66%. Now, this has confused the Tories, um, which, which then prompted them to turn around and say, oh, if you vote HB5, you now get Labour. It is only of motions that Labour bring, not every motion. I think if I, if I did a working out on, on my spreadsheet, I might go to it actually at some point, um, I, think, I think the Conservatives vote for about 50-ish percent of Labour motions as well. 50, 55, I'll figure it out. So motions that Labour have brought, the vast majority are mundane and don't really affect Horwich and Blackrod. So we, you know, a lot of them are like, will, will this council write a letter because they don't like the size of Boris Johnson's shoes or something? Um, so it's sixty-six percent of Labour motions, just Labour motions that we vote on, as opposed to the Lib Dems who vote sixty-six percent of the time to abstain. Just, sorry, I had to put it out there. So yeah, so that, that's what it is. It's not all motions. It's obviously that significantly drops when you start adding every other party in. But of their motions, 66%. Then we do a bit more about the clean air zone and try to highlight the fact that, um, yeah, 
that, that, that both parties were involved. And only now are they saying it's wrong. Up until December, when Rethink GM sprung to life, they were all perfectly fine with it. It was the only option available. In Horwich and Blackrod Ward, councillors voted against uh, Bolton Council's budget. We did. Uh, for me, um, increasing council tax for those poorest in society by 40%. This was a red line. There was other options available that they simply didn't take. Um, I think there was another mistake in this, and I will I will point it out if I can find it. Oh, yeah, so it's on the 66%. Uh, don't let the truth get in the way of the facts. <laughs> We should have picked up on that. It should have been, don't let the truth get in the way of their facts. Um, but again, so little mistakes. We are we are self-funded and self done so Let's move over to Ryan's. Ryan's is obviously slightly different. Um, a, a veteran of uh, many years. Uh, and he is very outspoken. You'll see him, but he is honest as a die. He is no nonsense and he will really make a good addition. He's a boots on the ground, determined individual, and I've got the utmost respect, not just for his military um, sacrifice to us, um, because you know when, when you go to war zones, you, regardless of whether you like the conflict or not, or you're in agreement with the conflicts or not, they put their life at risk for this country. He is obviously aggrieved, and he wanted this being put in here. It was historical information from when Councillor McKeon said um, that we stood, that we didn't stand alone. We were just junior partners. Now, whether that's what he meant, those were his words. And the inference can be taken by different people in different ways. Um, we didn't stand alone. We, of course, didn't stand alone. We had, you know, the, the empire, although it was crumbling, we had our, our, our Commonwealth partners. And of course, eventually, um, the Americans and Russians came in after the Russia was originally against us. But again... You also forget about the intelligence industry. You know, the, 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 the intelligence, the Enigma recording machine. Britain was at the forefront of the things like that. And it was a collaborative effort in the end. But we were certainly not junior partners. And that's my opinion. Uh, it goes on about Pickups Field, uh, our fight. Uh, that's, that's pretty much what moved it for us. Middle's the same. Again, just some of the things that we do in the community, like the duck race, the Christmas treasure hunt, the jobs that Ryan uh, hunts for. Uh, and then the back is the same. At the bottom of here, we've got the real McKeon, just with some quotes that Kevin has said. And he has said them. Um, he, he, he called me the other day. Um, Cliff, Mo Cliff Morris uh, confirmed in a meeting, HBFI and Horwich would not get its promised 2016 health centre. It, it, we've been fighting for it and we've eventually got a health hub. But like the Leisure Centre, we've not quite got the Leisure Centre we wanted. We've not quite got the Health Centre we wanted. We've not quite, quite got the Link Road or the um, or, or, or the Spine Road, rather, that we wanted. But, you know, they are moving slowly. Um, and he did indeed, when questioned at Peel's holdings, um, if the application, if, if, if Peel agreed to sort out the flooding, would this application be acceptable? This is online. You can you can view it. And and Councillor McKeon said yes. Again, he may not have necessarily meant that, but it's what he said. And accountability, you need to account for people's words and what they say and what they do in the community. Um, I'm really proud of our two candidates. They are both very outspoken, hardworking, dedicated individuals who will be an absolute asset to Horwich and Blackrod. Um, they will be drivers for our party moving into the chaos that is 2023. Um, I would like to thank all the local businesses that we've we've commissioned, um, so, such as uh, Halbro, um, Craft Print um, and Stress Free Print, local businesses that, that we use. Um, thank you very much for your time and, and your expertise. And thank you to Craig for designing everything. And thank you for the team. I do this because of you. All of HBFI members, all 26 of us, uh, I'm really proud of every one of you. And as we push on to May, remember, think local. If if, if, you're can, if on the doorstep they're telling you they can sort the policing out, they can stop crime in your area, they can remove poverty, local councillors can't do that. 
We're going to put an infographic out. A couple of the other local parties have done something quite similar, uh, and it actually makes sense. Um, a lot can be promised on the doorstep, and a lot of it's national stuff that councillors have no control over. So with that, think local, vote local. HBFI, your local party. Take care. Goodbye.